Um, so, right. what do we see here? All right, so this is kind of from Asus, and right here we're at the Asus 3D OLED booth. Uh, what you're seeing right here is the world's first glasses 3D OLED laptop. So what you can see right here is that these dual cameras are tracking your eyes. So you can't essentially see it, uh, capture it on your camera, but you can see it with your eyes. And yeah, trust me, uh, you're seeing you know the 3D thing popping out of the screen, right? Um, is it uh, using parallax? Uh, it's using a technology called a lenticular lens display. So what it does is that um, after it tracks your eyes, it actually uh, sends out two different pictures. And after stitching these two pictures together, uh, it sort of like represents the right, right side point of view and the left side point of view. And so that you are able to see the 3D effects through your eyes. So I see it. Can you see Very it? Interesting 3D. I feel like I'm touching exactly. The image. So this video is shot by this Canon EOS R5 camera with the dual fisheye lens, and it shoots in 8K. And so after stitching it, uh, the the video it becomes 4K. So you can see a really high resolution video on this 3D uh, OLED display. And. If you want to disable the 3D, is it exactly sure. the same performance like a normal uh, display? Yeah, exactly. So if you want to disable the 3D, you can just go ahead and go to this tab and you can switch to 2D. And in that way, it's a very seamless switching. It's a very immersive switch. So you can go from 2D to 3D in you know, a click of a switch. And then and the whole desktop uh, looks normal? Like, yeah. uh, it's like a normal display? Yeah, this is a normal There's display, no... a normal 3.2K OLED display. So you're able to go from 2D and 3D really fast. Yeah. Nice. So these are the specs. Uh, it has the highest, uh, la the latest generation i9 CPU, which has 24 cores and 8 performance cores. The GPU is the 4070, which is great for gamers and 3D modelers. So, and you're able to open this video by... And it's just a 3D uh, What's that? video. Yeah. That can it's shot by... To each eye. Doesn't matter how big your head is or your... Yeah, it doesn't matter. As long as it other. tracks your eyes, it tracks your face, tracks your mouth, and you're able to see it in 3D. But does it actually move the lenses around? Move the lenses? What do you, what do you mean or by it? It's that? just like, it's all, it works at every angle. Yeah, exactly. Um, I will just bring up the Spatial Vision app. So, as you can see right here um, in, in our dashboard, um, in the eye tracker tab, you see your face is being tracked, right? So, it sends that information back into the laptop, and the laptop would just split the image into two and gives you the optimal 3D viewing angle. Oh, it can really see my eyes exact yeah. position. Yeah. So that's why you're seeing 3D from different angles is because your eyes is being tracked. So it doesn't just give you this generic 3D, it gives you a very customized uh, experience. And then some cameras can have three little lenses. Three and lenses? Record in a 3D actually, format two that's lenses. compatible. Oh, uh, actually, it's been recorded by two, uh, like a dual fisheye lens. So it captures the right side point of view and the left side point of view. And after stitching it together, you get this 3D effect. And uh, it works with any 3D application. So if you are a um, 3D designer, architect, as long as, as long as it supports OpenXR um, pro, uh, files, you're able to open it in Blender, Maya, and more and more like application. We're working with a lot of like different file types at the moment, so uh, definitely look forward to having it support more apps in the future. So it's the Pro Art Studio 16 3D OLED. Yes, How soon is available? We have this 3D uh, display on the Pro Art series. Uh, we don't have it on gaming. We don't have it on other Asus laptops. But um, but yeah, uh, we, we think that this is a great. Um, application for 3D creators, so that is why we are implementing this technology on a uh, creator-focused laptop. And what is this screen? So we're just showing how um, uh, with 3D, you're able to, with this 3D display, you can view it in 3D, and if the same thing is being showed on a 2D display, it actually is being split into like, it's being like, um, split into two different videos, right? As you can see right there. The but that's not a 3D it's, display. Yeah, that is a 2D display, but you can see how the 3D is being created. It's kind of like how you would view a avatar video, and um, yeah. if you like take off your glasses. And what is he doing right there? Oh, um, maybe the guy.
guy over there can uh, demo it for you. So basically, you're looking at our the same the same laptop, but it's showing ZSpace, which is a software company that we're in collaboration with. So what he's doing right now is he's uh, dragging the butterfly with a special pen that um, senses I IR. Um, uh, light and so uh, he's demoing a scenario where he's dragging and dropping a uh, heart so it's great for like demoing like anatomy uh, cardiovascular surgeon stuff and so it's great for education and we're trying to implement this technology in more educational fields so they're able to um, they don't have to um, you know open up the body to see what's happening in it they're able to yeah so okay. it's going to track my eyes and give me a 3D image. Yes, exactly. Oh, that's quite cool. And we have it hooked up to a different display right here. So the people beside you would see uh, what, you were, uh, what you are experiencing right now with the 3D dis display. Well, it's, it's not possible for me to film it with my 2D camera, but... You, you can probably film uh, it here. Um, I feel if like you I'm touching move, the watch nearly. Yeah, you can probably film um, this this way. As you can see right here, we have an AR scenario setting up. So what you're experiencing on our Pro Studio book would look somewhat like this. The um, the watch is essentially being dragged out of the screen in a way. So wow. people beside you would experience the same thing, would um, know what you are going through, essentially. So that's why we think this is a you know, great application for the you know education field. Now I play with the little butterfly. Yeah, just try and draw. I see it in 3D. Hello, Mr. Butterfly. Come here. And this yeah. is like basically I'm pulling it out of the laptop. Yeah, you're essentially like pulling it out of the laptop. All right, yeah. that's really cool. How much is it going to cost this laptop? We can only um, build the price now. We're not. We, we don't have a clear cut like what the price will be, but the MSRP is currently setting at around 3K US dollars. But if you want a more uh, specific price point, you definitely need to wait till um, next year when it actually comes out. All right. And and uh, the market could be. Uh, game designers also? So currently we're targeting 3D modelers, 3D creators, 3D animators. Of course you can game on our laptop, that's no problem, but uh, we're actually implementing on our Pro Art series, which is a creator-focused laptop. So we're targeting the creator industry at the moment, but definitely you can game on it. And does it get tiring to use it for a long time? Or no, so the it's thing fine. about OLED is that it provides very fast response time and also uh, like uh, the response time is about uh, 0.2 milliseconds, so that uh, reduces the crosstalks. It doesn't have a lot of blurry things, so it does it causes less strain on the eye. So uh, because it's an OLED display, so you will have the best uh, 3D experience for creators with like color accuracy to the point, pencil validated, everything um, that maxed out. So uh, I think it, uh, creators wouldn't have that problem. Yeah. Check out the WISE. WISE is such a smart system. I think I'm saving over a thousand euros every year because I use it everywhere when I pay for stuff. You know, you want to pay for stuff in the world. So you can check out my longer video for where I explain some more why I think this is amazing. And it's free. You can just sign up with my link down here and you can use it on your Android Pay, your Apple Pay. It's like a prepaid Visa debit card, right? So you need to put a little bit of money on it and you can just put money on it from your local bank account. And there's zero fees. The fees are so tiny. It's like five to 10 times cheaper than your bank. Don't use PayPal anymore. Don't use Western Union when you send money to a whole bunch of countries around the world. Just use Wise. It's way faster and it's five to 10 times cheaper. So really check it out. It's cool. And I appreciate if you use my link below. Thanks for watching.